Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to reproduce this 3D umbrella you are seeing right here on the screen using a combination of commands from the draw panel and also from the modeling modify palette. Before I start, I'll have to set up my drawing units and also the workspace I'm going to use for this little tutorial. Now I'm going to close this very window and start a fresh one on a different window. So I switch to a new window and start this drawing. So here we go. We will set up the units as well. I click on UN light units and do the same setup I did on the other window. So here on the type I choose decimal. On the position I'll click and choose 0 0.0. On the insertion scale I'll choose millimeters. And on the angle I choose decimal degrees and click OK. I want to switch to top view here, not the top view. Okay, so that's the diameter of the umbrella. So I need to draw a straight line from the center, a little very circle. So the quadrant point that I have to check the auto mode so I can get a straight line. Okay. So I will now switch to the front view. Click on front view. I'm now going to draw the height of the group of this umbrella. So I choose the line command. Okay, the center of this very drawing and draw a line of 25 minutes up. Okay, so this time I'm going to draw an arc. The middle point, the digital point, to get the shape of the umbrella. So I click on Add command and select start end direction. We can start end direction. Make the first point that end. Click on the end point and check the auto mode and the Choose the shape of the umbrella. I want it. I choose it to be this portion. I click OK. So I'm going to divide this very arc into five units. So I have the ID for divide. Click on this arc. And select five for the number of divisions. Okay, so that is that. So I'm not going to draw the straight line from this point to any of the nodes that I find suitable on this arc. And I choose I choose to put it here. Okay. So, I'm not going to draw the handle or the arm of the very umbrella. I'm going to choose a suitable length for it. So I take a length from here, put the line command, draw from here. Now, activate the auto mode again. Uh, I would like to choose 60. I'm going to draw the handle of the very umbrella. This time I'm going to use the 
polyline command. That will move red point. No, draw a line of five. So let's act and choose eight as a curve of the arc. Eight. Change to line command again. And draw the line cut of two. So this is the part of the umbrella. Well, I'm going to put some other features as well. I'm going to draw a rectangle of one by five. Now I'm going to draw another one, another rectangle of two by five. Okay, so I'm going to move this very one, move this rectangle, take it from this point, and this it here. Okay, now I'm going to move the whole unit here, move this, take it from here. I'm going to put it here. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm going to move to switch over to isometric view now. And I'm going to choose this view. Now I'm going to start to create the handle, the holder, handle holder. On the circle command, you can circle the part of that and how to also change the UCS wallet edition. I'm going to switch this to top. Okay, so I can be able to draw the circle. So I click on the circle command and Draw the circle here. So extrude this circle up to the red right point. That is done. So I create another circle. Okay. Now I extrude again. I'll turn it there. That is done. I'm going to draw another circle here. In the circle command. And draw the diameter of the line. Okay. So I'm also going to extrude our right circle. You can extrude. And choose the parts I want to do this, this very part and choose enter. Now I have also do this here. Here yeah, I'm going to draw a circle of two and put the center. The diameter of two. Enter. Also extrude this. Enter. Change the part, which is also this. So the handle of this done. This is done. Move it to one side. Use the array command to array this very arc. This polar array command. I click on this. Enter the number of parts I want. I enter twelve. That is done. That is twelve. Again, I'm going to also create this curve 
for the umbrella, for the three of the umbrella, I'm going to create the curve here. And I'm going to do that using the arc command. And that I will choose start end direction. I click on start end direction. Click on the first start. Click on the end. Click on the end. And choose the direction I want to so I'll choose the direction and click OK. Okay, that is also I should go to. So the next thing I will do is to join this, this, and this. And then modify panel click join. I'm going to join this, join this, and this. Okay. Mostly that I have one line out of this line. But I don't need these ones. I'm going to switch them off to avoid confusion. Okay. Now the next thing I will do is to convert this to a surface. I do that, I'll switch over to surface. I use the surface patch to do that. Click on the surface patch. Click on curves. Click on this. Click on this. Then okay, click again. Right, so this is now the surface. The next thing I'll do is to convert it to the solid, 3D solid. So to do that, I simply give it a thickness. I type TH for thickness. So we'll thicken it. Then click on the surface. And there. And enter the thickness. I give it 0.5 thickness. Okay, so I now have a 3D solid gem. The next thing I'll do is also to use the array command to distribute the very solid object here. So I go back onto the home screen and click on the array command again, polar array. This polar array. Click on this, enter, and choose here and center. Okay, and enter the number of items, which is 12. Enter again, enter. So this is done. So the next thing I'll do here is to click in this very line, this is the part of the time of the drawing. So I click on this, click on properties, and from there select the thickness of the line I want. Okay, the thickness, and let's choose this as the thickness. In the thickness, the tone. Let's just move the tone. Okay, the next thing is to move the whole of this and place it there. Put this, you can move. Move this. Move from this very point. Move from this very point. Locate this. And do that. Okay, so I don't need to try it again. I don't need so much work. I Breathe them. Now the next thing I'll do is to also array this very line here. Click on the polar array as well. Click on this very line to the center. The center point. Okay, that is not right. So first I have to change. UTS is the top. I click on this and the top. 
Okay, so I cannot array this very well. Okay, click on okay, click on this. Go to center array. Okay. Right click again. Choose items and I choose 12. Enter. So that is done. Right click again and choose enter. Okay. So let's view and see how that looks like now. Okay, you can see that it's taking shape. Do the color. Okay, that's the umbrella. Now, how do you do the coloring? So, I'm going to click on one of these and right click and choose properties. Now, how to change the color? That you can click on this tiny arrow and pick my color. Click on green. Click on green color. Okay, so I want to do more of the color. I choose this, 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 next one is this. This. Okay, so we'll right click again and choose properties and uh, click on green. Okay, done. That's done. Now, I also have to color the handle. I right, click on the object command and choose the color for the handle. I'm also some of the parts of that umbrella. I'm going to choose this with the object command. Also choose this. Choose this. And right click these properties. Now I'm going to choose a brown color this time. Um, into the darker color, I'll choose this color. Click enter. So that is it. Okay. Okay, so that's that is it there. That's the umbrella. Okay. So that's the umbrella completed. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe for more of this tutorial. Thank you.